Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And we're going to be looking at the update 1.20.10. Here we go. I haven't read through this, so bear with me. A new Minecraft update is ready to play. Since releasing TNT update, the team has been hard at work. So hard at work. And even more improvements to the game. Here are just a few of the highlights. Players can now sneak under 1.5 block gaps. Shovels are no longer needed for craft boats. Many more actions now emit vibrations. Fix <gasps> over 50 community reported issues. Okay, let's see. Vanilla parody. Because that's what we care about. Short sneaking. Players are no longer able to sneak while riding. I... Players will no longer suffocate when short sneaking in certain scenarios. <laughs> just, we're not going to tell you the scenarios, but there's just these sometimes scenarios where, you know, you're playing a survival game. Maybe you're playing hardcore and you're just walking around and all of a sudden you sneak and you just suffocate to death. But you don't need to know the scenarios for that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. There's just these, you know, times out there that you might suffocate to death. <sighs> Sorry. Players will no longer suffocate <laughs> when riding on a camel in a two-block cab. This reminds me, sorry to get off the subject, but when Cyberpunk came out, one of the things I really love to do, and same thing in GTA and any open world game, is I love to just get on top of a car and ride a car around, just just for the fun of it, you know, I just get on the car and ride the car around. In Cyberpunk, the, there were tunnels that weren't big enough for the cars to go through. Like, not me on top of a car. The the car couldn't go through the tunnel. Like, who makes a camel that's only purpose is for the player to ride it and then forget to not allow you not to suffocate when you're riding it? What? How much time did you have on the camel? You had months on the camel and you didn't ride it through a two block area and see oh it suffocates me <sighs> players will no longer be pushed slightly when short sneaking is by being pushed by a block <laughs> <clears throat> Players will no longer be pushed slightly when short sneaking short sneaking versus long sneaking are they wearing shorts? I mean, there's only one button, and the button goes up or down. I sneak or I don't sneak. Is by is 
So the ah, fuck it, whatever. Let's go on. Fixed many interactions where being forced into sneaking act acted. Fixed many interactions where being forced into sneaking acted the same as holding the sneak button. Other changes. Items dropped by storage in the now center inside the nearest block. Shovel has been removed from the boat recipe. Barrel recipes have been modified to use planks instead of sticks, which is so much more expensive. Oh, good thing we have parity. Cobwebs to string no longer is even an option. Fixed a bug where village, uh, where zombie villagers did not drop. The, the cobweb to string is so stupid. Like... <laughs> Add the ability to crawl. Wait, so these are experimental features. Crawling. Add the ability to crawl behind the short sneaking and crawling <laughs> experimental toggle. They added another toggle. <laughs> I can just see in like three years we're just going to have like an entire game of toggles. It's just going to be Minecraft Toggler. Minecraft Toggler, you're the expert developer now. Just like, okay, more toggles. Okay. Created new player crawling animation. Player will now begin crawling in a one block gap similar to sneaking. Crawling is the same speed as sneaking, so I have two things then. I can't crawl as fast as I sneak. That's why we have different dynamics. You crawl slower than you sneak. Why would you make it the same? What's the point of having it then? Players will automatically stand up or begin sneaking if they leave the one block gap. Players will begin swimming if they enter water while crawling or vice versa. If I jump into the water and hold shift, I'm going to start swimming anyways. What, what are you talking about? Why wouldn't you do that anyways? Why is that a feature? Oh, player model is now centered around the hitbox when swimming. Imagine that. You centered a hitbox. Player will now always spot projectiles from the camera position. Oh. <laughs> this is one of those things that makes you want to cry. Like, when you're building a game and you need projectiles and all of a sudden you realize that regardless of what you do, the projectiles come from the head of the player. Not the hand. Not the object spawning it, but the head. Because the player somehow is in the head. Not the collision box, but the head. No other game does that. We're all in the collision box, but no, in Minecraft, you're all in the head. It's like, come on. So, at least they're thinking about it. I don't know that I want it to come from the camera. Why can't it come from the position that I want it to be with the offsets? Why don't you make the offsets work like they're in the software? Instead, they just ignore them. Here, here's some offsets. Oh, but they don't work. Well, thanks a lot. 
great sandbox. Oh, hey, here's a bucket to make the perfect castle. <gasps> oh, we can't use it. Um, player model now centers, blah, blah, blah. Player will now always spawn projectiles. Okay, player will now spawn particle effects when eating in the correct position if they're swimming. Why don't you fix the locators and the particle effects on attachables? Who the, who, who cares about eating when you're freaking swimming or gliding? You know what I really care about? attachables because that's the only way we have to do all of this stuff and yet we can't put a locator and attachable come on but oh you gotta make sure those those particles spawn in the right spot when you're eating you gotta have all those oh, eating particles come out of your mouth you wouldn't want them to come out over here yeah i know like attachables Two years ago, I reported it. Two years we've been waiting for you to fix locators and attachables. Could we please be allowed to have the particles for our pets and the things you pick up and carry around be in the right location instead of having to do some magic with the player model just to get it to look right? Like, come on. But particles where the when you're eating while you're swimming... Really? Do the particles even show up in the water? No, that'll be the next bug fix. Please, players. Players, 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 players. Remember, these are all experimental, too. We can't just fix that bug for particles. We got, it's got to be experimental. Got to make sure. We don't do any beta testing ourselves. We just we just throw it out there. Experimental toggle. <sighs> okay, so let's get back to this. Uh, fixed players. Player. Oh, oh, loyalty trident will always return to the player's camera. When I'm in third person, I don't want it to go to the player's camera. I want it to go to the player's hand. You know what we have in the player's hand? A locator. You know what would be really cool? Is if all of those would go to the locator. It's called a locator. It locates things, you know? Locator in the hand. <gasps> Watch. Hey, look. It looks normal. I don't really want my trident to hit me in the hand head where my camera is like do you guys play minecraft ever played skyrim i don't really want my uh bow and arrow to come from my head i want the arrow to come from my hand Locator, attachable, fix that. The paper dowel will now show up properly when crawling. Since it's a brand new feature, it's not a feature. You're releasing this right now. Why do you have to say that? when it's the first time you've put crawling in the game. I'd already expect that to work. It's not really a feature. It's just something that should happen, right? It's like you didn't have enough space to fill out all of this, you know? And so there's like, oh, this, this doesn't look very good with only four items. Looks like we haven't been doing very much. Hmm. Maybe if we list Every single thing as part of crawling. That's like 10 items. Hey, we added crawling. You guys know we added crawling? Oh, hey, we added crawling. Fixed an issue 
We're colliding in 20 can sometimes give the player the incorrect bounding box. <laughs> yeah, because your collision box was inserted. Oh, imagine that. Recipe unlocking now in bedrock edition. Fixes and changes. So we're done with experimental. So this is experimental? I have to be honest with you. I mean, I ask people if they play the game. I thought this has been in, the, in Bedrock the whole time. I mean, do I... I guess, do I just get everything? But I sort by what I have. So it looks exactly the same because I just get what's based on what I have. So now you're just going to instead remove everything... I don't know. I mean, you go to help and it tells you. Like, how is this a feature? I mean, you could say it would be up here under parody. But they don't. It's down here under features. I don't know. I mean, I like it in other games. But in other games, you can't typically see everything. You can't go in to help and see... Uh, I don't know. Fixes and changes. Fix the communication error message appearing when leaving a local area network as hosted on S Nintendo Switch. Reduce cases when player might see unable to connect errors due to expired auth. Camera position is now used for audio system listening and and bang. Camera position. No. No, man. I just like. It's very frustrating. Okay. Got a player. I want to make a top-down game. So I'm going to put the camera way up here in the sky. And you're going to do the audio from the camera's position way up in the sky? The whole point of giving me cameras that were customizable is so that I could put the camera wherever I want, not have it tied to where the sound's being generated. Come on! It, I want the player's model with the collision box to be the player. The camera is not the player. It's Game Development 101. The collision box, the box, root, is the player. I want the audio to be relative to this. Not the camera. The camera could be all the way on the other side of the map, giving a wide-angle view. What, I'm going to hear birds chirping? What? What world do you live in? <sighs> Farmer villagers will now interact with torch flower seeds and pitcher pot seeds which I saw a video earlier showing that that didn't actually work um, the sound played when a camel is dashing is no longer played repeatedly fixed issues with jump boost affecting not affecting magna cubes fixed boats on ice disappearing <laughs> Still to this day, my favorite bug fix of all time, and I don't even remember what it was. It, it was uh, player fixed, player gets off horse, horse disappears. <laughs> like, <laughs> how much more broken can you have something? You, like, imagine that poor player. Imagine it's the first time they've ever played. They finally get a horse, they get a saddle, they ride it for the first time. 
They get off the horse, and the horse disappears. Oh my gosh, like... It's just, even to this day, it brings tears to my eyes. It's so absurd. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh my. I don't even know if we're going to get it. Like, we're bit, uh, look at the scroll bar. It's 20 minutes. And we're, <laughs> we're not even This is a minor, like, point ten update. Okay, if you told me 343 was running Mojang, like somehow 343 had been put in charge of Mojang, I would I would be like, yeah, or, yeah, sounds about right. Okay, let's keep going. Um, mobs are back to normal despawn rate at night. Camels now play walking animation when taking damage while standing still. I'm mixed on this one. I guess it's needed because they need to show some reaction when you hit the animal. Um, I would rather them add a hurt animation. I don't know. Let's let's have just a mock meeting really quick. Okay, so we're all gathered together at Mojang. You guys, when you hit a camel... If it's standing still, it doesn't do anything. I, I We gotta fix it, because everything has to react when you hit it. What, what are we gonna do? You know, what, what we really could do, this would be really cool. We put in a custom hurt animation, so that when it takes damage, it, it does different things. Like, what if what if when it, it, like, gets set on fire, like, it jumps? Or, or when you hit it, it, like, Head reacts. It is almost lunchtime, though. I kind of wanted to go home early today. What if we uh, just played the walk animation? Blocks. Oh, we forgot snow. Mobs no longer continue to freeze without powder snow. No, if there is, th this always boggles my mind. Um, mobs no longer, like, I would almost like them to include a picture with each of these, like a diagram, huh? So a mob is in powdered snow, which means it's in it. So it's it's not should suffocate. I don't if there's if there's powdered snow on all sides with it it continues to freeze without powdered snow if there is a powdered snow block near the west and north side blocks polished basalt and chiseled deep slate can no longer be replaced by a shulker. Okay. Decorated pots crafted with at least one shard now have hover tooltip displaying. Huh. I'm not positive I like this, so I make something really rare, and all you do is you walk up to it and it tells you the recipe. Like, the whole point of this was to create scarcity and rarity, and you just, you, they don't even have to, like, go figure out the recipe, you just give it to them. Players without permission to open closed containers can no longer interact with chiseled bookshelves. How do you make more 
stuff and not add it to the permissions. How is this even possible this made it to stable? Like, isn't there an SOP that says when adding bookshelves, step one, add them to the security. Step two, make it geo, put it in the game. Step three, texture. Cauldron water texture is now the correct version. Note block on top of soul soil now produces the harp sound instead of the snare sound. Okay. Shovels can no longer mine packed mud as fast as a pickaxe. I don't know why this matters. I just... I've shoveled a lot of packed mud. Never once used a pickaxe. Never even dawned on me to use a pickaxe. And I'm talking in the real world. Have you ever used a pickaxe on packed mud? Or did you use a shovel? Placing blocks on top of snow and tall grass while moving side to side will no longer cause them to stack up continuously. Huh? Huh? It makes a lot of sense that that was a bug because I thought I would, because I do it constantly, I thought I was just stupid, honestly. I thought I was just clicking poorly. Suspicious gravel and suspicious sand. Blocks now display correctly on the map. think they should. Why would you want suspicious stuff that's supposed to be only identifiable visually to show up differently on the map? Then wouldn't I just look at the map instead of looking at the textures? It kind of takes you out of the game, doesn't it? Mushrooms are now able to spawn on fallen tree trees. Oh, I like that. Conduit now has the correct lighting when placed on the ground. Fixed black pixels being generated on maps when client side chunk generation was enabled. Shield no longer clips inside the armor stand model while. Uh, I yeah. Why, why has that taken like that pose and the armor stand have been there for so long? Like how old is that? Okay, placing, rotating, removing items in a frame or a glow frame now emit vibration. Oh, I don't. Yeah, a whole bunch of vibration crap. Th this would... I like the concept of all these features. I dislike that you're putting them in a vibration concept skulker instead of actually just having it in an entity detector or block detector like it should be. Why are these not just queries or, or filters in all of the normal stuff? Instead, you create all of this extra crap. Uh, vibrations. It, so, let me ask you this. 
If I play a sound, slash play sound, slash music, does that generate vibrations? Does any of this stuff actually detect real audible vibrations? Or is it all just simply triggers and detectors that you made so convoluted instead of just adding them to what we already use and have? These could have simply been queries with a distance. Realms updated the contrast ratio of the buttons, the feeds, accessibility features, user interface, Portuguese, horse and donkey jump bar, camel bar dash, now scale properly to experience bar. Change the pause menu, disconnect text, um, fix the issue that caused the inventory to get locked up after auto placing, imported worlds, reorder, uh, mouse inputs, Graphical fixed issues with highlighted blocks and mob shadows appearing through the pumpkin head overlay on switch. Rendering of snow and rain is now based on camera position. And again, the camera is not the player. Shields no longer flicker when held in both hands on RTX. Oh, one RTX bug fix. Yeah, we're going to make it there. Only 10,000 more to go. Fix sleep in camera fade effect not covering the screen until after first player rendering happens. Underwater fog effects now based on camera position. Okay. Fancy leave settings now applied immediately and will no longer cause x-ray effect <laughs> fixed player capes not properly flapping when moving forward nearest attackable target was crashing the game Just this, part visibility, bone visibility, like, I, the amount of work and effort to reteach people, it, why? It's like moving the start bar in Windows 10 to 11 to in the middle of the screen. It costs us so much money to retrain people. Even that, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to you big brain people, but to everybody else on the planet, when you change stuff like that, it causes bugs and confusion and waste of time for no reason. At the minimum, just make them both work. Slash time, query command will now return the correct time and day when the absolute time is negative. <gasps> you query the current time properly now. Holy cow, man. Could we get the filters to do it? To do it? Like that bug's been reported for what? Three years? The filters don't properly detect what time of day it is. It's nowhere close to the same as the command. You can run the command. You can put a filter in for time of day, and they don't match up. Or or weather. Weather's another good one. What's the weather right now? The filter. Sunny. But it's rainy. No, no, it's sunny. The filter says it's sunny out. It's like the worst weatherman ever. <sighs> okay. 
could we query time? Like not zero to one? Like could we actually query the time that the command uses so they match up? Execute. Oh, executing the input set command will now output a message. Command position will now use the command positions will now use the correct position and rotate when running the MC function via execute. You could literally just burn out a developer with something like that. They're putting in a command, put it in correctly, and the game is so poorly done and so poorly bug fixed that it's not applying that to what he's doing? Fixed an issue where some execute commands stop working on realms. That's inconvenient. The has item target selector argument now counts items held with the cursor. I'll give it to you. That's a good one. I wouldn't have thought about someone just holding an item in the cursor and wanting to detect it. I would assume you would have had to put it in a slot first. Good. That's that's nice to have. Commands will still work with concrete, but concrete won't be suggested in the command prompt. Rather, new names will. Okay. Java parity. Block states and commands will use equals instead of colon in version blah blah blah. Why? I, I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't want parity with Java. The reason we're using Bedrock is because we don't want to use Java. If we wanted to use Java, we could go use Java. The only one that helps Java parity with Bedrock is you. Minecraft. Mojang. Cheaper development. You guys. Not us. I would like the commands to be easier and stop changing. Nowhere on my top hundred is man, I wish I wish Bedrock would be more like Java. You know. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be awesome? Imagine all those Java players could come play Bedrock instead of Java. Because that's what they want to do. All those Java players want to come over here and play Bedrock so they can have a command that's the same as it was in Java. Or is it a Java developer that's helping with Bedrock that hates that they're different and wants them to be the same because it'd be easier on them. Which is more plausible? I mean, I help people every day. Never had somebody come to me in Bedrock and say, I'm trying to learn Bedrock. I'm just starting out. I sure wish Bedrock was more like Java. I love Java. Java's so easy. Components. Added a content error when Minecraft Balloonable is used on Minecraft Player to prevent issues as the component is not supported in this way. You cannot make the player balloonable. Can't do it. No, you can't. You can put it in there, but it doesn't do anything. pretty hard to develop when you put stuff in there and it doesn't do anything. It'd almost be nice if we had like some documents, like a, a 
repository of like all of this information where we could go and we could look up like, hey, balloonable. And right next to it, it would say something like, doesn't work on player. Seems like that's something that you would have put in when you released Bloonable two years ago. I don't know how many hours I've lost trying to get Bloonable to work on player. Quite a few. Because someone didn't think, maybe we should put that in the documentation. You didn't even have Bloonable documented most of the time. Entities. Custom entities are no longer restricted to overriding vanilla entities released before 1.20. All vanilla entities can be used in the identifier or runtime, including camel and sniffer. <clears throat> I hold on. Custom entities. It's a custom entity. If it's a custom entity, it doesn't have Minecraft in the identifier. It's a custom entity. That's the definition of a custom entity. Minecraft colon sheep. Not a custom entity. I mean, I could customize the geo, I guess. Is that what you're saying? A vanilla entity is no longer restricted to being overwritten by a custom one. Is that what you're saying? Because you're saying a custom entity, custom entities are no longer restricted to overriding vanilla entities. I... Oh, both released before 1.20. Because there was a 1.20, like, hold. All vanilla entities can be used in the identifier. Or runtime identifiers, including the new stuff. Oh, that's great. I mean, I... I mean, I, uh, that's something that... I don't know. I ran into something that pissed me off about that. I... I think blocks is my biggest problem, though. I mean, I think the lockout of blocks is the thing that we are complaining the most about. I agree that that was disturbing that you locked out uh, 1.20 new stuff. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. That's great. Entities can be modified. Wonderful. Um, blocks. Updated the Minecraft Geo block component to allow bone visibility to <clears throat> to be defined with. Oh, that's huge. Thank you. Big, big one, big one. Because if you can't use Mojang, I can't query what's happening. Bone visibility is not all that usable, right? Converted properties to... States. Come on, guys. You can't keep changing this stuff. This is supposed to be stable. We're not playing Jenga. We're trying to run businesses making video games that are getting played by hundreds of thousands or millions of people. You can't just keep changing words like it doesn't matter. Words matter. It's not the 2020 encyclopedia where you can just make anything up. Like, we care about this stuff. Make up your mind and then tell the committees that keep changing this stuff to shut the fuck up. If someone comes in and says, hey, this is a little confusing. I think I want to change this to say states instead of properties. I know we all got together in a committee and we said together properties was the best option to use. But I think states is much better. States means a lot more to everybody. Look, we have the United States. Everybody knows what a state is. You tell them to go back to work and do something. 
Why do you keep doing this to us? It's not an experimental. This is in stable. If you're going to call it stable, stop screwing with it. Items released the Minecraft cooldown item component out of experimental. Nice. That's great. Released the repairable. Oh, for items. Yeah, okay. I, I was cooldown for items is just now getting released? For real? Okay, okay. Okay, let's get through this. <sighs> Items with the block placer component now can place blocks with the correct orientation. What's the correct orientation? We can't rotate the blocks. 1.20.20 is where we get the ability to rotate the blocks around. Released the max sta stack size. Nice. Custom items with block placer will no longer place certain blocks in the wrong position. Released Minecraft records. Yay, we can play records. We can make our own records. Three years. Custom, custom items. Three years. <laughs> we finally can do a record. I mean, could have just used the play command in a custom item all that time. I'd love to see Mojang tell, tell us what is the cost per item in here to fix it. Did adding record that took three years, did that cost us a million dollars? Did that cost us a thousand dollars? Ten dollars? I mean, at this point, it's like buying a seat for the, you know, a toilet seat for the military, a wrench for the military. Like, it takes so long to do stuff. It makes me wonder, like, what are you guys paying for this stuff to get done? Like, how much is it costing us to have hover text color work? So the problem is, all of that's in the code. It's all been there all this time. It was there three years ago. You just didn't listen to it. It was just disabled. So why why is it 2023 and we're just now getting record? Could you give us like a workflow of how it took so long? To, to do these like just break one or two of them down for us plebs dumb people out here because uh, I think that would really help a lot of the developers and wondering what's going on if you could maybe behind the scenes why does is there like 50 committees is this like the Vogons like you know, you got to do all this stuff for something to get released or get approved or what What took so long for Minecraft record to be in an item? Experimental technical features, add-ons and scripting engine. I'll just right off the bat, I'm I'm so anti-API uh, for Bedrock. I think it's... The community made Bedrock the number one game of all time without APIs and without scripting. And then the wealthy programmers and the big brain people come in and say, oh, this would be so much easier if we just made it programming. If you just made it, made it all code. If we just made it like Java. Let's just you should make it like Java. Come on, come on. Just a little Java. Just a little Java. Just a little scripting. 
little API here, little API there, just a little, just a little. The demo for this game is 8 to 14. The average player is 24 overall of all Minecraft. And you want someone like me to take a Minecraft player that wants to add a mob to their game or add some feature, some basic thing, that comes from one of 200 languages in the world and one of countless government education systems who struggles to use Discord, who struggles to use Windows, who struggles to use most things and probably has a mobile phone, you want us to teach that person how to do APIs and scripting so that they can add some basic functionality to Bedrock. The same functionality we've had all this time that made Bedrock what it made, we were simply asking for 1% more. Please fix these illogical, stupid things like Render Dragon, like taking away our shaders, like not allowing custom block geos, very specific, limited things to make Bedrock just a little bit better. And instead, you're going to throw away the 80% for 20%. You're going to kick out all the people that really enjoy doing this stuff. Because what they keep saying is, well, the commands won't go away. The commands won't go away. But when I go ask, hey, I need to do this. Oh, you can't do that without API or scripting. Like constantly, like over and over and over. I would like to have this very basic, simple feature that I can rotate my block, my custom block, three years into custom blocks. And all I want to do is rotate it. And I have to use scripting API right now or wait for the experimental feature to come out and hope that it works. That's not the very first thing you put in. You didn't. The very first thing you put in was not a command to do the basic functionality we've been asking for that's been promised to us for year after year after year that you keep saying is coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. The next update, we're going to get it out. We're going to get it fixed. And then you say... Oh, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to do that in a while. Instead, we're going to add this scripting API stuff. And then you will say, well, does the do commands work in the scripting API? And you say no. So why would you keep the commands? Like, I know you say you will, but it's extra work and you can't even do the basics. So once you've scripted out things... I just see those commands quickly going away and all of these components that we need. It took us three years to get record. And and yet you expect us with no support from Mojang, no support from Minecraft to teach kids and teach these people how to do this. It's not going to happen. Instead, what's going to happen is you're going to make bedrock just like Java or just like any other game on the market, that it's so hard to get into, it's so hard to enter that only professionals do it that have an education from some big school. But right now, anybody can do it at almost any age. For someone to take and to make that more difficult and to change that reach, when we have Java, when we have an entire product that you could go do that in, if you want to add all of this API and all this scripting and all this crap, go do it in Java. Like, someone at Mojang needs to not be a programmer, not be a big brain, and be a normal person that looks at you guys and says, what are you talking about? 
The community made this the number one game in the world, and you want to change it to make it... Oh, if we just change it more like programmers do it, it'll be so much better. Then why did we get Bedrock? If it's so much better how programmers do it, then why did we build Bedrock instead of having Java? Oh, because we needed better performance and it needed to be in C++. C++ hasn't made Bedrock what it is. The community and the players and the modders have. They're the greatest asset you have and you're trading those people doing it now for what you might have in the future from the professionals that can't make enough money in the industry to even join the industry. The people that are going to do scripting and API cost too much to even enter this industry. There's not enough money for them. They could make way more money going and doing other stuff. Why would they come over here instead of doing Unreal Engine or doing anything else? It doesn't make sense. Your demo is not a professional programmer. Your demo is an eight-year-old kid that just wants to add a cat to Minecraft. But look at all this we got. Look, block events. We don't get, have a command for events. We have a command for entities. Even says blocks. Doesn't fire the events for blocks. We don't even have events for blocks out of XP yet. Look at all this. There's more done in the API than there is in the entire document of bug fixes. You can see what they care about. You can see where all their money is going and their time's going. I don't enjoy making games in script text. If I did, I would make games in Unreal. In program or Java, why would I be in Bedrock? So we're going to go from JSON, which is not coding, to API and scripting. Go get a degree. Spend countless hours learning and memorizing all of this crap to do exactly what we're doing now all we needed was a few simple things and almost everything we asked for three years ago was stuff you were blocking you block shaders you block the apis for directx 12 you blocked render dragon you're the ones that stopped all of that stuff. You're the ones blocking us from changing blocks. We can write the files. We don't need your stuff. We already know what it is. We can put it in. You block it from working. And instead of unblocking it from working, you make an entirely new system. A lot of people say, well, we want to make all these other programs on top of Minecraft. We want to make all of these visual, we could make visual coders in three to ten years. You, it took you three years to get us record. And you're thinking we can make visual coders? You can't even do the basics right now, and yet you're putting all of this time and energy into APIs when you could be doing bug fixes. You could be actually making the game better. How about adding a whole bunch of animals to the game? But instead, we got a sniffer. You don't even have deer and elk and monkeys in the basics, and you added a sniffer and scripting an API as your focus. I mean, how much of this goes away when Render Dragon gets ripped out? Like, how much of this are you putting into time and energy and it's not even going to be useful? 
it's going to take you more energy and effort to keep the API and the scripting up and accurate than you're doing for the entire game right now. And yet you can't even get the entire game fully labor funded. You don't have these teams to the scales that they should be to actually be putting the stuff out with quality, obviously, because there's constant basic bugs. And yet you think that you can add an entirely new system without increasing your workload or staff load. It's illogical. Whoever is running these teams is not one of us. They are a programmer from another team or from somewhere else or from Java or from some world that is not bedrock creators, that is not people that have had to deal with this and try to make money with what we have. There's someone else that says, oh, we could do this better without actually doing it how we have. We we don't need this. We need you to unlock the crap that you have locked. Cameras. Oh, we're still in API and script. We're not even out of it. Oh, wait. API. Cameras. Cameras. Change camera command. Fade. Cameras, this is all XP stuff. Um, camera pitch, yay. Camera present JSON now supports. Okay, yeah. Custom cameras, great. Awesome. Items, item format, 1.10 and above now. Throwable finally works. If we didn't have the API and the scripting, and you put your time into actually fixing the stuff that you promised three years ago, would we not have a much better experience that was completed and done today? Custom item with a block placer will no longer place certain blocks in the wrong We already saw that changed. Minecraft shooter only consume am ammo when charging items with place blocker will now place in the right orientation versus location you couldn't just say location and rotation depreciated the render offsets thanks that's real helpful you know how many times this question has come up just in the last two weeks I've seen it constantly my item's too big. My item's out of place. Oh, well, now you have to use attach attachables. Well, can I apply the uh, particles to attachables? No, because locators are broken. Oh, those going to get fixed soon? No, they were reported two years ago and not going to get fixed anytime soon. So don't use offsets and good luck. That's a real great way to build a game changed charging behavior in <laughs> shoot to match the crossbow what was it before what other shoot is there bow bows don't charm change shooting behavior for charge shooter when empty Released the shooter component from XP. Released throwable from XP. Released projectiles from XP. Released can destroy and create from XP. And release text. That's it. Sorry this took more than an hour. I thought this was going to be a 5-10 minute read. Uh, I was wrong. I... Obviously, you can see my frustration. I appreciate the people at Mojang are trying. I'm not trying to be um, hateful, not trying to be personable to any one person uh, or attack any one person. But uh, if this was a restaurant, I would give you a 2 out of 10. And I got to make my living off of you. So, 
kind of makes it a sucky work environment. You know? I've been doing this for more than three years. Uh, everything, I can make some really amazing stuff. I'm really just asking for 1%. If you could just fix 1% of the things that cause us the most problems and would give us the best return and after three years your solution is well we tried and failed for three years we think we're going to build an entirely new system just one in one percent we're already building great stuff we're doing amazing things you won't even let us use poly meshes and marketplace, but you're going to add APIs and scripting because, like, poly mesh is too much, and yet you think marketplace quality is going to skyrocket with APIs and scripting? It's going to get a thousand times worse. Things are going to get all kinds of crazy and un microsoft -y. Like, you complain that you want to keep it Microsoft and keep it this flavor and keep it bedrock and keep it different from Java while saying you want to bring parity to both of them while then adding API and scripting to make bedrock Java. Why have both? Is there, like, there's a Java committee and a bedrock committee and they're fighting? Are there three committees? Is there a Java committee, a Bedrock committee, and then a middleman committee, and they're all fighting? Because I don't see how the head of a department that's running this, that looks at Java and looks at Bedrock and looks at what's going on and says, let's make them the same. The only person that that benefits is you guys, not us. I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted, and this has been uh, one of those fun videos about updates in the state of Bedrock game development. I'm an indie. Hope I'll still be here. I'm not going to school to become a professional programmer so I can program Bedrock. Not going to do it. So if you keep pushing APIs and scripting and forcing it down on my throat, I'll just end up going to Unreal Engine 5. Like, if I'm going to do that, why wouldn't I go to the full marketplace? The reason I'm playing in this sandbox is because it's a nice, small, easy sandbox where I can easily make things without coding, without APIs, without scripting, without being a programmer. If I wanted to be a programmer, I would go to Java and I would make my stuff there. How about you add a marketplace to Java so you care about Java and leave Bedrock alone? How about that? How about you take all your focus of APIs and scripting and you move it over to Java and you harass them? Because they like it. They want it. They're asking for it. Thanks.